Lachen. Just painting hair today. <clears throat> you guys have been asking me for a while. Not been able to get to doing a demo. So I figured <clears throat> I would just paint today. I'm not going to answer any questions. If you do have any questions, please definitely go on um, which call it um, on IG to ask me questions. I'm not feeling great today, so I'm just kind of quietly painting. But you'll get an idea of what hair is about. <clears throat> if I turn it around like this, my photo reference. What's really important with hair, and I'll reiterate this again as more people <clears throat> come on, is if you look at this photo right now, you could see shapes, right? Like I can see, you know, right, right in here, there's one shape, two, three, four, one, two, three, another one, another one, and so on and so forth. And <clears throat> The best way of painting hair to make it easy so that you don't get lost in all of this is to paint each of these shapes as a unit. And then after you're done and you like what it looks like, you can then put little wisps <clears throat> of um, hair in between to kind of connect them and soften little areas that are far away from you, sharpen the ones that are closer to you, and that's my system. So um, I'm just gonna paint this right here, this piece right here, which is actually pretty important in the painting, um, live. See how it goes. <clears throat> and uh, please let me know any questions you might have. I start off with a bigger brush just to put down the basics shapes like right in here. I don't know if you could see it. Right in here what I'm going to do is if you could see the photo here I have already mixed up my shadows and my deep blues right here. I also mixed up a transition color that has the blue I'm adding a little bit of a lighter blue, but it looks like I'm going to start adding some green as well. And, you know, green to blue. A little few shadows there where I probably pick up my deep blue there. This is the basic biggest highlight <clears throat> out of uh, this shape right here, which I'm going to do. Um, I also, and I mixed that highlight, um, I've also mixed the color. Of the skin because at times um, when you're painting wet on wet it's nice to be able to sort of drag a few lines here and there inside so that um, <clears throat> it looks like it's hair on top of somebody's skin so what I'm going to do first is put all of these blotches of color blocks of color everywhere um, and then that's the second layer. This is the first layer over here, right? This is the first layer. The second layer will be blocking in, like I'm doing right now, the big parts of the color. And then I go on top of it with a much smaller brush, my handy dandy Winsor Newton brush, which I still love, even though it's they're not as good quality, I still like them. Where I will then start going into the details of the hair. And if you could see here, there's so many things. There's a lot of highlights and darks because, you know, hair has just got a multitude of levels. I'm going to show you how to build this up so that it really looks very natural, like I've done right in here, which I did yesterday. Still need some fixes, but I want to let it dry. So anyway, um, Again, you have any questions about painting hair, please do not hesitate to ask me. Um, let's see, what do I need? I need some black. 
not black, right in here actually is more of a blue black because the hair is blue. So I accomplished that with using <clears throat> um, an ultramarine blue with just a little bit of, um, what's the name of that color? Uh, burnt umber, which makes a black, but because I'm leaving more blue in it, it makes it cool, so I can create those blacks, which is nice. So, um, yeah, I need some black. Some blue black, as it's, I would say. So here's my blue black. <clears throat> you see, I'm not as worried about, as you can see, the details here. So we got that. There's this. I'll leave a lot more black in here. It kind of goes into this one part right here. You see, I'm not worried about doing the fine lines. They're not as important now. You won't be able to get the fine lines if, um, well, it's not that you're not going to be able to get the fine lines. The problem is, is that the only way you're going to be able to get your depth and all these really nice hairs and having it come out at you is that you just have to do it in layers. It's fun to do the little lines, the little small strokes like this towards the end. Always a lot of fun. Okay, and it looks like there's one deep crease right in here. I guess you can't see the... Uh, can't see my reference photo, but there are. And so there's a few little black areas in here. And right in here are some dark colors, but those are more of a dark green. <clears throat> and I have mixed a dark green, which actually starts to show a little bit in here. It's important actually in many ways, it, it's important to get the um, darks in first. And you kind of want to go with the direction of the hair. It's all over the place. Not an easy thing to do still don't like doing hair. But having learned how to do it, somewhat, and by all means, I'm not a professional, I'm not the best at doing this, and I don't claim to be, but I think I can hold my own. So here I'm just slowly blending the two. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because the beauty of uh, oil painting is that you can continue to constantly move it around on your canvas. So what I do along the way is I will also be kind of softening the transitions. Because what will happen by softening like that, what you're doing is actually kind of blurring it. Which is great because when you, for example, like right in here, I start to blur this dark because it's going away from us. And because it's blurred, you really can get I mean, that great three-dimensional type of effect, which we all love as people of, of our kind, the kind that wants to get really hyper-realism in their work. So, um, yeah, take a little while. I won't be surprised that this could take two or three hours. I figure I'm just going to hang around <clears throat> today since I'm not feeling great and just quietly do this. And um, I'm happy to answer any of your questions over on IG. What do I need here? I need to start getting a little... Need some more dark in there. My dark, oh shoot, dark green. Because I see right in here, I need a little bit more space. 
colors. Let's see. See what's great about this brush? I don't know if you can see it. It's wide. But then I turn it, it's wide, right? And then I turn it to the side and look how thin it is. It's pretty awesome. That really works so that you can put, you know, a large um, swath, whatever you want to call it, of paint. But also then go back and do little thin areas like that. Um, so it's kind of nice. So it's interesting in here. I have a few little black strokes. See what I mean? I can get a few. I can get some thinner lines. Plus I have paint on both sides. So it kind of works nicely. Okay. So let's see. So we start at the top here. We got that one. They got the dark. What's going on here? I think I got some teal I'm going to have to put in there. Let's get some teal. Now I should be changing my brushes all the time here, but <clears throat> I always forget. I just always forget. Let's see if this will work. Perfect, perfect. So what I did for this is that I actually took some of my, <clears throat> the dark color, I said the, the black green, the dark green, and I mixed, um, which is it? These are the two main colors that I'm using for this right now is Williamsburg Sèvres Bleu and Cobalt Teal Bluish. Um, although they're very subtle, you can't, you can, well, you can't really see much. One is just a little bit more teal than the other. <clears throat> so if I mix a little bit of this to my black, my greenish black, then I'm able to create a dark enough color <clears throat> up here. What do we got here? Yeah. I'm lightening this up right in there. Again, it does not have to be perfect. I'm trying to think. It seems like this is a lot. <coughs> Deal there. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it will, it will. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna go down there yet. I'm gonna work just in this area for now. Now, see how this straight line here right now looks really bad. What I'm gonna do actually, once I put all the blocks of color in this area, and then I'm gonna go back and see these lines, how they kind of crisscross. I'm going to bring some of this hair into here and vice versa by doing just some small lines. And you guys will see that it really works very nicely because if you look at your hair, it's all over the place. And there's a balance between like how much hair of thin wisps and all that that you want to focus on. Uh, you can't do every single hair. It's practically impossible. Trust me, I did all of this and I this is the only spot that is really in focus and I have all of this just slowly blending away um, because I actually really want to make like a very short depth of field so that the only thing that I'm being in focus is like this hair right in here her eyes her nose and whatnot and everything kind of gets looser so um, you know hyper realism really is a play of uh, Sharps, edges, and soft edges. Okay, looks like I got it. And the problem with doing hair too is that you want to constantly go in there and like get it even more and more detailed. And you have to kind of walk away and be like, nope, too much, too much. Walk away, think of the big shapes first, right? 
So um, I'm going to put all the big shapes down. And then it'll be really cool to put, you know, the, the hair. I really want to show you guys this, but I can't do that until <clears throat> I get to um, my little brush and I have everything put down there. So, okay, right in here looks like there's going to be a little bit more of a... Um, a highlight so let me get a little bit more of my brighter teal here a little bit and it kind of goes there's one like strand that goes all the way down like this again doesn't have to be perfect. I hope though, I hope to see a bunch of good questions. There's going to be some going on here. Looks like. Do, do, do. Put a blue there. Okay, now let's do some greens or teals. You can see all the different things here is that I have, this is my container full of <clears throat> my medium, which is a mixture of a little bit of um, linseed oil and a lot of terps. I have my brushes. Always got lots and lots of shop towels. I go through these like I do chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so on this actually, you know, on the, look at the photo reference here. This is a lot more subtle when it comes to the green. And, you know, it's very hard to be able to get like super saturated bright colors with oil paint. So what I'm doing is since I can't get that oversaturated in the teal form, I'm actually playing around with a little bit of green, bright, bright green in here. And I think you know, it's it's the choice of, um, as an artist, you just don't have to exactly replicate. Um, you don't have to exactly replicate it. Why should you? Think about it. You can just, you're a painter. You know what? If you're painting for yourself, oh, well, that worked out very nicely. I like it when I get the colors, like, really spot on. Yes, you can make this hair, you know, any color you want. I mean, I'm sticking with something similar to the reference material because <clears throat> then I don't have to try to figure out, um, I don't have to figure out how to deal with the colors without reference. There's a little piece that goes up like that in color. Yep, I can see it now. There's a few little things there that I want to get into place because it helps me. Yeah, see scoop and then it scoops down and then it scoops. Okay. Oops. I think that we can go. You can see what I'm doing is that I'm just using the side of the brush to kind of blend things a little bit. It doesn't have to be much, but I'm blending them not like with a fan brush. I'm not blending them, you know, really thickly. I'm actually blending them so that there's almost a jagged series of lines, like thick hairs. And then I'll build on that next. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got a little bit of this. <clears throat> teal color coming into here also. I'm sticking with my teal for the time being, but I'll add the light green after the fact. I'm going to cover this up, but I know that there'll be a few little areas of skin color, which I've got mixed up as well. Okay. 
there's also an area here that a little bit of a highlight. Okay, so now we're getting into this area, which is almost one of the lighter versions right here. I may exaggerate a little bit. It's the beauty of the type of work I do. I, I exaggerate everything. So, let's see. That looks very bright, but too much, too much. There we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, so if any of you guys... Wow, that worked out. Well, I wasn't able to mix that color yesterday. <laughs> I hate when that happens. If any of you guys think that somebody um, would be interested in this live, um, I'd certainly appreciate it if you could... Share the live. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, by the way, too, um, I appreciate everybody who voted for the People's Choice Award for my painting. I will find out actually in a few weeks, I think. Notice I put a little highlight there. You know, again, I'm just following the hair itself is already, you know, the hair is there. It's giving you the shape. Um, there, okay. Yeah, this is not one that's, wow. Okay, maybe I'll put a few little here, but it's gonna be a tough spot to do. As you can see right in here, if you look at the, uh, this area, there's a whole bunch of hair that's just crisscrossing left and right and you know, as you've noticed, I put the shadow and some of the details of her skin. <clears throat> Not a lot. Because nobody's going to be looking at that. So I don't have to go too crazy on the details. But yesterday while I was painting, I, I painted all of this so that it was wet. So that I could then be painting wet into wet. And what that does is that, you know, it'll be really convincing. Um, instead of painting the hair and then having to go back into doing the shadow would be impossible and it wouldn't look good and it would look muddy and um, so that's one of my tricks is that I do the, all the skin tone right here under the bangs almost final doesn't have to be perfect because people are going to be looking at the hair in her eyes but it does have to be good enough so that <clears throat> oh good enough so it's convincing right I don't know I'm not used to really talking while I'm painting. There's a little hair that goes down that way. It looks like there's a little bit this way. And now the paint in the back is still wet. It's picking up a little bit, but that's okay. And let me show you why. Now, let me get this clean up. I have my dry brush here. See, because it's wet, when I go to the edges, I'm able to soften each of the hairs a little bit. Just a little bit. Again, constantly softening the edges little by little. And then you build up the layers which get harder and harder edges. Um, again, that's how you get your photorealism. So, anyway, I think I messed that up, of course, but. Oh well, that's okay. That's the beauty of, uh, where'd I put my brush? There it is. Okay, what else do I need? I'm gonna need some real highlights up here, but I don't have to get to those yet. Although I will just add a little streak here, streak there, just sort of blending. You know, the other thing is to look at with hair is, you know, the light is gonna come like from here, from this, from the, wait, I'm doing this backwards. Um, the light comes from here over to here. And if you look at the hair as a whole, let me just put you here over with, um, if you look at all of this, basically the light, the highlights are like this, right? 
So when you're painting, you want to be um, aware that this area will always be your lighter color. And if you can achieve that, then you're going to get that natural flow and highlight that you get in here. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so let me put it back to the, where I'm painting. Please, if anybody um, you think wants to know about painting hair, please um, let them know that I am demoing that right now. And I hope more of you guys will come on. I'm not, usually I take questions with you guys, <clears throat> but as you can tell from my voice, I'm tired. It's a long week, but I wanted to finish, I mean, I wanted to finish this whole streak all the way to the bottom, which I did, and I did this, and I've done this hair, and I'm going to probably get all the little fine lines in here and start a little bit with this, because if this is wet, I want to make sure that I continue um, to, at the very least, blend this into the next section, and then I let it dry, and then I can blend that area um, after the facts. But each of these pieces, like in here, I don't want to let that dry too long. I want to make sure that I get all the little hairs in while it's wet. Um, so, okay. Enough talking, let me just continue. That needs more of a highlight there. So I'm gonna go with a little bit of the lighter green, even though it is not the same as my reference material, but I'm the artist, so I can do what I want. How about that? It's my party, as they would say. Okay, it's starting to look look a little bit more like hair. <clears throat> Just wait, the next layer is where it's going to get really cool. And please invite people over. I, I in really, this is an important thing to know how to do um, painting hair. <clears throat> and I kind of feel like I've gotten better at it, and it's exciting to be better <clears throat> at it. Let's see, where's my teal? <clears throat> I can't find my teal. There it is, okay. The minute that I could start to <clears throat> paint hair confidently, um, I think it's just all of a sudden just moved my paintings into a whole nother stratosphere really grateful to have had a great teacher just put a few of these little lighter ones in there notice how i flipped a brush because i don't want this starts to blend into the dark so then i start contaminating but if i go with the other side that hasn't touched the darker color yet it's so little tricks like that so what's great about filberts again if you guys weren't here look at that side super thin and then you turn it over and it's thick Fabulous to have. You can use the one brush for a lot of, for a lot of, for a lot of areas. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Is that a little too light, maybe? Mm, maybe, but there's a few of them in there that I think... That's what's happening is there's some lines in there I'm trying to get. It may be too early to do that. So, but just a few little pieces. And then I got the shadow underneath, which is great. Looks like there may be a little hair there that's about the same color. Putting a little here. Interesting. putting a few because I'm going to want to blend all of this into this curve <clears throat> again so there's a nice flow of wet on wet It'll look natural it won't look like I just threw the hair on top of the background because that won't look good at all that will look pretty pretty flat 
and it will lose all of its dimension. So, okay, let's start getting into, I got that shape. How's that looking up here? I'm gonna have to add a lot more details. I got that color. As you can see, I should move that closer. Hang on. Just a little closer. Let's see. There you go. I can't move it around too close. But you know what I could do? Where's my scissors? I'm thinking I can cut some of that off if I can find my scissors and you guys could be able to see the reference um, shot, which is really good to have, but I cannot. Oh, yeah, I found the scissors. Awesome. Here. This is going to be a lot. Can you see it a little bit more? You can. I'll just move it over. Let's see. How's that? Okay, I'll deal with that when I get to that. So here, can you see a little bit more um, of this? Right in here. Okay, it's not perfect, but it'll um, it'll do, right? It's better. Why is this buckling? Oh, because I, there. Do, 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 do. Gotta fold it and nope. Okay. Okay, I'm getting back to the painting, tonight, ladies and gents. Okay, back to painting now. Just tear this off back here in this area so you can see. I have a lot more color uh, proofs that I could make. Okay, let's see. This ends up being a lot darker around here, but okay. So, let's see. Dark, a little lighter, a little blue there. It looks like I need some teal there. And it blends over into the green. And then it actually comes back around going into the skin area. <sighs> and this is tricky. This is all going to be lines. That is hard. That's hard to do. Let's see, what else do I need? I need, I need, I need some darker color in here, some shadow. Now, I know I said that I was, to put all the darts in first, but um, sometimes it doesn't happen ideally. So you move around a little bit. Now, right in here would be, again, I think it's the darker green. Okay, let's see. After you start to get into this, it's <clears throat> actually very quiet, therapeutic. There's a little bit of a shadow in here I missed. That color didn't come out like shadow at all. Okay, let's go back to my... Go back. Let's see, got teal. A little black there. A little stroke or two of black there. Yep, that works. Definitely looks like it's a lot more dark going on in there. Okay. 
with a good, nice dark streak in there. Repeating and putting it again. Then there's, you know, there's a lot of like tiny little dark hairs coming throughout. <clears throat> Showing throughout. And you want to have some of them. But not all of them. Notice what I'm doing. I'm starting to actually build up on the fine lines here. <clears throat> Small hairs. I know I should have advertised that I was going to be doing this today, but like I said, it's been a really crazy week. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of getting pretty tired of COVID on so many levels. There's a few little streaks in here. Again, I'm just kind of doing a few like in here that are dark. There's a few more up here. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just about to go and start maybe doing a few little blending. What else do I got up here? But I keep on seeing that I've this curve up here is not quite right. It could just be because of see dark. Yeah, actually that's even darker. What I did to get even a darker black, you want a really, really, really dark black. Black with a hint of cadmium um, red is um, going to give you like the darkest dark. There's a little streak there. Right there. Okay. Now, right in here, <clears throat> I looks like I need a nice, rich forest green, which I do not have here. I got really bright green, but. Let's see if that'll work. Is that a good color? Hmm, not bad. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You know, I, I wish I could, you know, give you guys some magic tricks with hair, <clears throat> but frankly, there is just no trick. It's really just practice and patience, a lot of patience. But I have to say, you know, the type of work that I'm doing right now, I mean, the hair right here, that's the hardest part. Pro tip, always paint <clears throat> the hardest part of the painting first. Because then, <clears throat> and then you leave the best part for last. And that's really a great way to paint. Okay, what do I need? I need another blue egg, blue towel. Okay. So right now I'm gonna go back again with my dry brush and I'm going to soften the edges of of the paints and between paints, wherever it's <clears throat> a hard edge. I don't want any hard edges just yet. And notice that I don't just pull the brush across. What I do is sort of dab a little bit. Let's see, what do we got? It's dark. Yeah, I dab because sometimes I could actually be like, wait, let me just pull 
that black over a little bit more and I'm just always just dabbing. Dabbing kind of mixes the colors together almost like a bunch of dots somewhat overlapping each other but not blending to create what would be like another color. See, I'm managing to get the gradations of the hair color by just softly blending. I do actually will show you like one really cool trick when I get closer to doing the uh, finer details. It's one of the best tricks that my teacher Paul McCormack taught me when I was afraid of hair. He's like, oh, don't be afraid of hair. Told me this little trick and I will show you guys in a minute. Again, I hope if you guys know anybody who wants to know about hair, please have them invite them to the live. Now I think as I understand it, I can have recordings of my lives, but I've not downloaded it yet. I'm assuming that if I can record my lives and they give me a link that there should be a way to download it. If that's the case, then I can put this on YouTube. That would be cool, right? Okay. It's very shiny up here. I got here. Let me just again softening my edges. Like, why is that not blending? Because this is dry from my first layer. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, if I could finish this today, I'd feel good. Go for a walk, do something, make myself. I don't know about you guys, but this COVID thing is really getting to me. I'm sure I'm not alone. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> let me just do a few of these right here and then I'll get into the tiny brush and that's where it gets really fun. Again, invite people if you guys wanna see the fun part of this and I may actually go and blow it up when I start You'd be able to show you how I got this and make that look like this. So, okay, I have only a few more colors in here. I have some of the darker teal here. Yep. Perfect. You really just want to have may have to actually go back to this when I do her uh, eyebrows, but that's okay. I can easily go back <clears throat> and put a few strokes of um, this color on top of the eyebrows when they're done. All those little things that you gotta fix at the end, right? Now the hair is darker here because it's going into a shadow and it's also on top of her eyebrow. When in reality, it really isn't um, darker. It's just being affected by 
what's behind it. Let's see, a few little streaks of black. I'm sorry, darker blue. Same here. It's kind of tricky in this case because um, you got so many colors going on. Oops, need a little bit more, a little too dry there. Having all these colors blending into each other is uh, a lot going on. A lot going on. Okay, what do we got here? No, maybe a few little streaks in here. And notice how I flipped the brush from thick to thin. This is a filbert. <clears throat> uh, it's called filbert number two, Monarch, Windsor Newton, um, England. It's um, synthetic mongoose and it's beautiful and not expensive. I blow my money on these guys, which is a Kalinsky sable. Okay, let's see, what do we got? There's, I think I need to go a little thicker here. That's way too blue. I don't know what I was thinking down there, but it's the first layer. Who cares? The first layer is great because what it does is it makes your subsequent layers richer, more real, but also more forgiving because, you know, oh, I forgot to put a little bit of paint to, you know, in this area. Well, you're not going to be able to see because you had that base color. So, um, let's see, what do we got? We got some, still sticking with my larger brush now, but I'm starting in and making some smaller strokes of darker areas. As you can see in here, let me see point in here see how there's little darker areas in here so I'm going in there and there and these darker areas are a deeper blue so let's see got a little streak there where else now <clears throat> Normally I don't usually jump around this much, but it actually is just one curve right here that, um, so I think that, okay, cheating a little bit, but normally you should just take one strand and then another strand. Now I've never actually painted, um, whatchamacallit, I've never actually painted straight hair. So this is the first time and okay, so let's see. Now here's where I'm going to start doing a few little, see there's no hair is going to be just that big black area, but watch what I'm going to do right now. Okay. I'm going to go like this, but now I'm going to go actually over into the black, right? And then I also see here that there's one that I know I can do from here, right? So I just go like that. Notice how many times I'm going putting paint on the brush too. See, because this, I'm gonna have it crisscross over. Now, um, what's this done is it's just kind of, you know, made this look real. Like they, it brought it together, right? Let me see if I can get a little closer here. Is that going to work better? It's so shiny, though. It's a bad angle. Okay, hang on a second here. Let me see what I can do. Um... Is that less shiny? Let's see. Nope. Okay. 
I know what I need to do here. Let's try this. Let's see. Well, still shiny, but at least not here. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I had so many lights in my room that I control, but... Um, Oh, wait, you can see. Oh, wait, where is the lighting coming from? Oh, it's coming from that other direction. Okay, let's see. Is that better? Do -do -do. Let's see. Well, certainly if I have my shadow there. Oh, God. Oh, well. So I'll have to angle it differently. But it keeps me... <clears throat> Let me just show you what I was doing here. I got a trick. I'm just going to... How's that? Yeah. Wow, it's much better. Okay. Let's see if we could do this. So, um, what I'm doing right here is I'm kind of crisscrossing what I need to do because there's a lot of hairs that are kind of coming around over this whole area from here. So, I'm going to bring out the big guns, my little brush. And as I see it, I have that same color, which was perfect and I'm going to try to get okay this is perfect now <clears throat> let's see okay let me do it a little bit oh with my hand actually causes a shadow great so what I'm going to do like right here is what's happening is a lot of the hairs are kind of coming up like this, watch, but curving in. So, let's see, did that work? If you need it to be a little lighter. Yes. So important that you know if you have a line coming like this or a hair it you know you the hairs have to continuously somehow connect to each other you can fake it kind of but um, if you don't have them always connecting it just doesn't look real so some of these are actually curving into that area and then and then Here's a big one. There is no shape that that's thick. But here's what happens, watch. I'm going to go from here over to there in one swoop. Of course, I'm holding my breath. I go over it again because some of the wet color picked up on it. But a lot of the crossover like this is what really makes hair look real. There's a few little curves in there. So that's the trick I was telling you guys about. Now when I get into here, I still don't like that big black shape right here. So I'm going to highlight that one. And then in here, I'm going to have to put some lighter colors and then cross over some of the light greens. I think I made this a little too thin. 
in here, but that's okay. It is what it is. It does not have to be perfect. Let's see. Are there any other... Um, now that I have this blue in my hands, this deeper blue, let's see what else I can do up here. Certainly, this goes that way. Right? I mean, I'm barely touching the canvas, so. Let's see. Oh, only one of you guys here. Well, thank you for staying. I appreciate it. Okay. Let's do a little more highlights. Those are fun. See, are there any highlights? I think there's a little. Here. See what I did right there? How I crossed over the dark area? there'd be more people here. You guys have all been asking me. To do this. I'm starting to put in the little lines here. Where we go here. way too straight but when all is said and done <clears throat> I'm going to start crisscrossing over a little bit we got here there's a few little areas here that I got to clean that edge a little bit before I start clean it up it's a little lighter what else do I got I think there's a few little highlights here. There's more here and there, so okay. Let's see, let's get into some greens. Okay, um, so let's start doing some more details. What I want to do is start to try to um, develop this whole area right here, which is going to be kind of tricky. And it's hard for you guys to see. If I were to move this, it doesn't make any better, does it? Let me pull this up. Try to get it better. That may work. Let me push it down a little bit. There you go. That would be a lot easier, a lot better to see. Awesome. Okay. So it's kind of cool because you, um, let's see, you can move it over a little bit. You can start to see, um, what's happening here in my hair next to each other. That's a better setup, awesome, okay. Hey, there's three of you guys here. Thank you for coming. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's clean up this area up here. Try to make everything blend. What do I need? I need some lighter green, but not too light. Let's see what we got. this work? Looks 
Like I'm constantly trying to constantly comparing. Now, here's something that, you know, again, like I was showing before, you know, you want little tricks. So I have this line, it goes all the way up to there. Yeah, and there's a lot of other hairs. So just to make it look convincing, I'm going to cross over the other line, right? It does make it convincing by doing things like that. You know, and in here, there's a few little, actually they're lighter here. Oh, that one's a little too bright, but that's okay. So I'm literally doing stroke by stroke. I know it sounds kind of... It's hard work. You guys can do it. I know you can. my <clears throat> dry brush where I am kind of touching up the edges of those light colors in the dark so they blend into the dark area not have it be just a sharp <clears throat> just a you know blunt sharp edge I wanted those to fade into the background so let's see wait there's a few other places here that I always have a blue rag in my hand <laughs> let's see notice it's always like I'm trying to you know soften the outsides of the um With this, let's see where I could pick a line somewhere. Like this, you know, I clean this edge, I clean this edge, and I leave the center of the stroke not really softened. Maybe sometimes it, on the edges a little bit more, depending. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Again, want to... Make sure that this area is going to blend together. I'm not going to be painting this, not today, but I want to know that I'm not going to have to try to get wet and dry together tomorrow or something. Okay, a few little spots here too. I don't know if I'm making any sense. It's hard to talk and do this at the same time. That's why I wanted you guys to just pose my questions, any of them over on IG. Um, because I am pretty much already functioning, trying to function on no, very little sleep. <clears throat> okay. So it starts getting interesting. A lot of curves going on in here. What's going to happen is, you know, hair naturally is going to go from, you know, your head and kind of curve around. In her case, you know, she's blow drying her hair. Um, so I have to do a lot of those little swishes. And I have a few to do here. This is actually a lot lighter in here if you think about it. This is going to have to be a lot lighter. So let's do it with the thin lines. I got all my colors mixed here. Let's see. Let's get this going. See if this is Need it to be a little bit darker. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now 
I maybe have to get rid of this brush because I'm not getting the point that I want, so I'm having to flatten it out. See, there's a tiny point there, but I have to flatten it out to get it. And this shouldn't be like that. That's what changed with this brush. It's a real pain. Okay, so little hair. Later. Okay, some of these greens are actually showing up in here. If you notice those little crisscrosses I'm doing. Keep on wanting to go down there, and I'm like, nope, 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 gotta stay up here because it's a lot lighter up here than I could see before. Starting to do a lot more crisscrossing. My head's not getting in the way. No, it isn't. Awesome. Okay, nobody's watching. Yep, it's fine. Notice those crisscrossing there. Yep. It should be much better to see what I am doing. Should have done that from the beginning. Okay, awesome.
Bring in the highlights here. Oh, I could see so much better. Oh, please share with your friends. Anybody out there know Sticky Art? Where are you, Sticky Art? Notice how I pulled that highlight going into from there to here. And that little highlight is actually blending them together. Not blending them together, just making them look convincing. Notice that I did a little zigzag, it's like an N. That's kind of a little bit of a trick that works quite a bit. Now, progressively going to be getting a lot lighter in spots here. Because if I look at this and I look over to here, it's a lot lighter, even though this is a little bit um, shinier because of the light or whatever. It's not very good right now in the studio. It's a better angle than I used to be at. But... And I got to tell you guys, I am like barely touching the canvas when I do this. I put fresh paint on every stroke. A lot of times I crisscross them or I make these come into, blend into, you know, kind of that shape, triangular shape. Okay. Now this is going to start to look really real when I start putting in all the little lines everywhere, but I can't do that until the end makes me really nervous because I know like with this a lot of the area and you, you, there's more going on all the way down here that I put a little too many um and if you could see right here very subtly I have a few hairs that are crossing over and they work great while well, as I went down I started putting more and I actually feel like I put too many because you just don't want to paint every single um you don't want to paint every single hair So, okay. Okay. Need some highlights now. Okay. Right here, again, notice how this, the light is coming from here. So there's a curve. And I want to make sure that I follow it. So I'm not going to put a highlight up here. 
although there are a few. The highlight's going to be more around in here because it's next to that. I know there's a little highlight right in here that needs a little highlight. Notice how I go from here down and then the center out. And I can get a nice line that kind of fades away on both sides. Not a lot of highlighting going on in here, but oh, let's see. There's actually one on here on top of that line. Okay, thank you for the one person who is watching. If you have any questions, give me a buzz over on DM me over on Instagram. I just can't talk too much. Can't answer questions and paint. I can just tell you what I'm up to. Um, that's actually going to be more of a lighter green. Let's see some highlights nearby. Uh, nope, I don't need that color anymore. Let's see what's next. <clears throat> A few little shadows I want to put in first. I'm actually going back now. Damn it, it's a little too thick. Fix that. And adding a few lines for depth. I had put some dark areas initially. They kind of disappear as you keep on adding color. So now I'm putting the darks back in. But, but the difference is that I'm doing it with much thinner lines this time. Now, a lot of times it's like, well, why is there, you know, a shadow here next to a highlight? Well, the light is coming this way and that hair actually is going to cast a shadow. And so right in here, there's an awful lot of very dark colors from a big swath of her hair casting a shadow. I'm gonna put too much, just enough, just enough. And there's a few here, I gotta darken up again. All of a sudden done, it's going to look very much like hair. A little streak there. Certainly a lot of darks in here. What's going on up here? Let's see some darks. Big. I gotta move that. Okay. Again, get my dry brush out. Constantly go back and kind of tidy up because I want that to be dark. But so I'm barely touching it with the dry brush. I mean, barely. Just enough so that the edges I'm making on all sides, the edges on the left and the right of the line, and especially at the end of the lines, and making them soft. 
because they're actually in the background. And I'll be covering up part of them. I have to be careful up here too. I just realized that I made a mistake. One of the things I'm trying to accomplish is the edges around the whole painting. I want to be blurred because I want it to go to the background and not the foreground. So I got to be careful up here as much as I'd like to add more details. I actually need to start softening it up because I don't want too many details. I want the suggestion of it in the darks. Again, I'm just dabbing along here. There you go. It's so shiny, that damn friggin' not working out very good there. Okay, this area is gonna probably need to have the same effect done, but I'll leave that. A few more. Again, I'm softening the transition between the brighter greens and the darks. Trying to get all my little shadows here subtle. Looks like I'm not touching the canvas, but in fact, I very much am. I want to make sure that <clears throat> on this particular edge also that it's soft. I'm going to go be putting a lot of little swoosh lights here, lines everywhere, like what's going on in this area. There's just hair like all crisscrossed everywhere. It's <clears throat> looking good. Okay. Start putting even more highlights on, which are great. I love doing the highlights. It really makes it come together nicely. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's go with some lighter blue. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, looks like we got a little highlight in here. Notice how they came together here. That's going to be interesting when I go back and actually put even lighter color on top of that. Now, since all the light is coming this way, I think that I could probably use a little bit more of a highlight. Now I got this hair going up to here. The highlight on the skin. God, you can barely see it. I'm going to put like a lighter color in the center of it, which will then make it come forward a little bit. Same with that. Now, okay, here we go. When I start putting some of the hair going into the skin area, I should have a brush called a rigger, which is one of the really long ones that are super thin. I think they use it for like doing pinstripe detail on, um, you'll see them on motorcycles. So what I want to do is I want to just bring something down here. So I'm going to go and just hold my breath. Do it. That's it. It's tiny, you guys could probably not see it, but it's just a, just enough. Just enough. And then in here, I'm gonna have to do some greens. Okay, so. I'm just building layer after layer after layer. But always using these little lines, you know? Looks like I'm going to start getting a little lighter in here. And blue. There's a lot of colors I have to deal with right now. Make it a little more liquidy. 
these paints get thick really fast and then all of a sudden you're trying to paint and you're like, wait, it's too thick for doing these thin little lines. Let me just do a little quick blending in here. I want it to actually feel like <clears throat> Okay, we need some super bright greens now right in here. Let's see, what do I got? That's my super bright. I think I need to go a little more white in that one. Okay. Let's see if that works. Just laying down like single lines just to lighten up the area. And then, you know, as it lightens up, there's a few that go up, but not all of them, right? So I have like four lines here and, and I'm only gonna really pull the highlight of two of them up a little bit. One thing, just got to make sure that um, I want to put a little bit of color over here too to make it so that the hair is sort of wet and wet. This skin right here is wet. Um, I want to make sure that this edge is dealt with also, especially that all these little hairs I'm going to have to paint after the fact. Um, I want to make sure that the background is done and wet and I don't have to ever go back to it again. So I'm doing a little bit here as well. Um, okay, so what do we got here? Probably not going to finish up this area because I can do that when I get into creating her eyebrow. Maybe a little bit, but isn't that cool how I put the shadow here first? Too bad none of you guys are here. I see one person is here, hello.
deciding here on where to put one of my hairs. I'm going to cross over right in here. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll do it from over here. See where I'm holding my breath. One, two, three. That's what I did. Could you see that I crossed over into that dark area? There. Makes it look a lot more real having that. Because the hair kind of splits. Okay, that's cool. That worked right there. Good. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more of lighter blue and whatnot in here. Um, and lighter green as I've been doing. To bring out the highlight. So subtle, isn't it? Decide I'm going to start crossing over here. What I mean by crossing over is that these lines start to intersect. And it's important to have that because that's how it starts to look like really true hair. Because it always, your hair is always intersecting and moving around and flyaways, you know, the usual. But notice that I'm putting <clears throat> the highlights in smaller and smaller areas. Whoops. Not over all the green. Connect those. That works. Awesome. I think that this area needs a little bit of a highlight in the center. Nice. I think there's a few strokes that need to be coming down. Do you guys know anybody who wants to... Um, you think would be interested yeah I wish more people were here for this demo it's so important to know how to paint hair. Everybody struggles. I struggled for years. Now, I'm going to put skin tones in here that are popping through, which in here you can see a few little skin tone popping out, so I'm going to do that. Okay, perfect. Let's see where we got some skin tones. This is where it really starts to become real because I'm putting some of the... I mean, it's really subtle what I'm doing right now. Just little swishes. that are the color of her skin. You can kind of do it sporadically. It's a little hard right now. It seems to it 
There, that one works. Okay, I think I somehow need to make this thicker. Thicker, thicker, thicker. Right in this area, I'm trying to blend it. Not perfect, it's okay. kind of cover up the edges here because my first blocking of color put them down too much but I don't want this to just be a big solid block of hair because it isn't and there are some bits of the skin coming out, which I am painting in, which will really be super helpful. Doing this now, and then all the hairs that are overlapping everywhere, um, do those after the fact. will be cool. Again, it's not perfect. It is not intended to be at this point in time. As you can see though, as I add that color in, all of a sudden um, it starts popping off. Starts popping off the page, the canvas. Some of these, actually it's interesting because in here, on the skin, it's much lighter. Which I will have to contend to with when I go back to paint a little bit with it but let me go back and refine things in here in the skin I don't have to go back and deal with um, some of this air pop let's see what's going on here hang on there is a big shape here Hardest part is this hair right now. You guys 
get to watch one person. Ah, these lives, these lives. I do them and nobody shows up, although they want it all the time. So, but I didn't advertise like I usually do one o'clock on Fridays. You will find me painting on TikTok live like this. Softening up some of the edges here. my little brush. Okay. Now I need to create a few singles here of a few bits of dark hair. So in this case, just a few. Thick. It's going to be very thin here. Dark hair, so I'm going to get a little lighter now. to get those <clears throat> hairs put in here. Oof. Notice how I crisscross and things like that. A little crisscross here, a little crisscross there. Works nicely. the dry brush. You know, always just softening up the edges a little here and there. These really should be in the background. They only start and they're subtle, right? You want a few of them subtle in the background. And then the ones that will be above it are going to be much brighter. And they'll really pop out at you. So, um, let's see. I have a lot of little thin um, things to do here. 
all fairly bright. So let's go with a lighter blue here. Like a blue or teal. Let's see what do we got. Okay. This is where it gets really, oof. This is where I get nervous. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna screw it up so bad. It's like I already kind of screwed up a few spots, but pretty much I think only I'm going to know because I'm critical. so many years here. I don't want to paint all of them. I just want to paint enough that you know, looks natural. But damn, there's a lot going on in here. A few more highlights. Do you have any questions?
<coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Do you think anybody's interested in watching this, joining? Please let them know that. Uh, please share that, would you? I appreciate it. What I'm doing now is I forgot <clears throat> to put some of the dark hair underneath that, um, you know, just happens to be underneath all the hair and that's darker because all of this hair is, you know, casting a shadow, it casts the shadow also on some of the hairs closer to her forehead. If I don't put those hairs in there, it really doesn't look real. It needs to have some of that dark hair coming around. So I'm just using um, like a dark blue, a dark blue, but more of a a lighter shade of black. Eh, it's not great. Messed up. I should have done those first. But that's okay. You just fix it. In this case, I'm just softening them up since they're in the dis in the background. I don't want them to be as much in focus. as to the things that are in the foreground. So now I'm just tidying up the edges. I want people necessarily these hairs are coming from, so they kind of just mysteriously appear. Working out nicely though. Is. What I need to do <clears throat> now is actually go back, kind of fix where the dark lines are going on top of the white lines, which is a no-no. So I'm just going over there, making sure that the darks are in fact behind. Uh, that looks so much better with a few hairs in there. It's so subtle, but <clears throat> God, I wish they would do these lives um, where the camera um, would be a lot better. But uh, yeah, this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, God, I wish I'm. You know, if I can find the live, if I can download the live. Um, and be able to show you sort of a before and after. It'd be kind of cool. Because <clears throat> you guys could see everything where I started. All the steps. Okay, so now, probably could put a lot more hair in there. I think so. Maybe I'm going to put a little bit more. 
highlighted hair there. Let's see. There's a lot more hair here. There. Just a few, even though there's a lot more. As you can see, there's a lot more going on.
now to just add a little bit of pretty highlights. <clears throat> if anyone's interested in, um, you think is interested in this, share it with them. Share the live. I'm adding just the slightest little white highlights. Right at some of these intersections. Where they cross over. Right around the area which is the brightest. So I add a little bit of that light color there. You could tell it, it really starts to pop. However, See my blue rag here. It's a little too thick. So I'm subtly going to blend it a little bit. Let's see how that works a lot better. Okay. So if you notice, what I do here is that I'm going to go very thin and then pull the brush away fast. And I'll do the same on the other side. So I don't want, I don't want any hard edges. So there's a little highlight there. And I think there's a little... Right there. Now, mind you, this is not real hair, as I am exaggerating in my work, making things more contrasty on purpose. Because I like contrast. Should be a few of these here too that should have some white highlights right in here. Do you guys, I thought I'm the only one who holds her breath. I'm painting these little highlights. I'm like, hold my breath. good. Oh, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy, happy, happy. It's always nice. I do a little, few little highlights over on that side because I didn't have any highlights over here with white like I do here and here. So not having them there would look kind of weird. So, you know, that's the thing is, you know, I may have finished this area almost Every time I start going to paint to another section, I'll go back and say, oh, I missed this. Or if I do a little bit of a white here, it's going to work better with the rest of the hair. So, little things. Oh, shit. Oh, excuse me, you didn't hear that from me. Almost there. Just trying to highlight a few things that I want to pop out at me. That, that, that. This should probably pop out a little bit more. 
Because it's above everything. If it's above everything, then it should be lighter. Convincing, more convincing. Let's see what else. You know what? I'm going to call it a day here. I appreciate that some of you guys stopped by. See what I have been doing here. Just cleaning up a few little edges here. Blending of the edges. It's a nice smooth transition from the white to the color next to it. And just need to make sure that up in this area is not too detailed because I actually am purposely trying to make the top of the head here look out of focus. So I don't want a lot of all of this to be in focus. And what I want is this to come out at you. And I kind of feel like it has. So, <clears throat> and then I got my few wisps here. I think that's it. So thank you to uh, those of you guys <clears throat> that watched me do this whole area. Um, I'm gonna go find the live uh, recording, see if I can download it, I'm not sure, and then um, I'll put it somewhere. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye!